Hello best friends, today I'm talking about five hidden gem fragrances that make you smell expensive. This is part one, which are easier to wear fragrances, prices from $30 to $60, so it's level one, part one, kind of a beginner's guide to this rating system. And we have some titles from Terry Mugler. This is a 2009 Pure Malt. I also have the 2013 version. I'll talk about the reformulation, discuss the differences. We have some Hugo Boss, some Dolce Gabbana, some Salvador Dali, and some La Costa. Shout out to Chef Leo Sanchez Coelho. Thank you very much for constantly commenting for the past who knows how many 15 months on every single piece of content I put out. Respect to you. Back to this fragrance, we're gonna start out with Pure Malt. Now here's a little tip. I've seen vendors displaying this 2009 box. It has the Therry Mugler signature on their photos, but then when you really click into it, They'll show you this photo, which just says Mugler. They're two different fragrances, really. They might be using that to bait you in. Just a little tip. You want the one. Doesn't matter. You're going to decide which one you want. But I put the link down below for this one, which is an honest, reputable seller. Click the links down below. Pure Malt by Terry Mugler was released in 2009. Again, this is a 2010 batch. It has the signature on the bottom of the bottle. The box also has a signature. And then it got reformulated and they re-released in 2013. In 2009, other fragrances that came out were Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Loma, which those batches from 2009 through 2012 were some of the most famous batches. Why do they fragrance companies reformulate? I suppose at that time, that 2009 was a Hall of Fame year at the time, my suspect is that the IFRA, the fragrance regulations and rules, came into play very strict and they removed some of the ingredients that they could extract to use in fragrance making. That's just my assumption. If you have more information, comment down below. Again, in 2009, also the famous Carolina Herrera CH Men came out and it had a red ribbon and everyone talks about how much more delectable that is and delicious that is. Now, when you want to compare these two, this is the 13 version. This one simply says Mugler on the bottom. And this one, the box says Mugler on the box. This is a tester bottle I found for $60, a very good price. When you smell them back to back, they're identical. If you were to bite into two apples, one being organic, one being regular, they're both apples. Who will know the difference if you could tell that one apple might be more fragrant and delicious more than the other but only by a hint and that's how these if i was to mix these up i would never know which one's which except for on the bottom the signatures on the 2009 and not so doing the testing testing of both fragrances they both perform identical they the one that dries down different this is a 2009 it dried down just a touch more bitter and the, actually the 2013 got more votes on the internet when i looked at the ratings by about uh, this one had 8.9, this one had 9.3, so it beat it by a few points. The 2013 beat the 2009 as far as likability, and that's out of 30 votes on some internet fragrance blog. And for a similar scent cheaper, try Rocha Man, 50% of the similar notes, 50% off the price as well. It does not have that boozy note that this has. It does not have the mint that this has. But it does share the same top notes, lavender, you know, and the citrus is. It shares the same base notes. It's like an amber, musky, kind of vanilla, and the coffee notes are in there. But not as much coffee, no booze, no booze, no mint in this fragrance. But for half the price, you might enjoy that too. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Snow. The question of the day today is, what hidden gem fragrance can you tell us about that smells expensive? Comment down below. It can be anything. We're just trying to make a massive list. The next fragrance is the hidden gem of the day called Laguna Om by Salvador Dali. It came out in 2001, the same year as famous Bulgari BLV, which also could be considered a hidden gem in its own right and be perfect for this video, but we're not talking about Bulgari. We're talking about Laguna Om is the least expensive on this entire list. Amazon price $22. What you have is a blue bottle with the chrome on top. It disperses the fragrance like that. You would think this seems like a super duper freshy aquatic and it does have the typical citruses and mandarin sweet orange notes but it's more of a soft warm cozy fragrance slightly oriental. 
you they wanted to evoke the feeling of being by the sea maybe your day off maybe a date walking down the pier with your your girl it's a lot of citrus lime and blue notes and on the base you've got the tonka you've got the vanilla you got the musk and and it becomes sweet and warm and it lasts six hours and if you spray it on your clothes it lasts 12 hours Laguna Omba is by Salvador Dali. This next fragrance, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Discovered Volcano, came out the same year as this, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum, and it could be considered a similar scent cheaper to this. I'll tell you in a moment. Let me tell you about this fragrance. Back as early as spring of 2020, I couldn't even find these big 4.2 ounce bottles. Now, hidden gem note special price drop the prices are under forty dollars on these 4.2 ounces back then it was ninety dollars i don't know what happened i've been looking on the batch code that says four one four zero five zero it's a 2014 batch even and even they have testers even cheaper than that i've linked them down below this thing opens up with a lemon ginger spice it's very nice with cypress. So you, you're thinking about spring, summer, autumn, fall. Why? Because cypress gives it that brown, dark color type note, you know, red and brown note. Then the, the lemon ginger spice stays on for three hours and you have this beautiful lavender, you know, those purple florals that makes it so clean and neat with the citrus. And then again, you could wear this in any situation in the hot weather in the spring weather in the fall weather with your hoodie on whatever you want to be casual or even dress it up because the ginger and that spice gives it a touch of elegance now if you're thinking dolce gabbana light blue boring or dolce gabbana i know all about it this is quite different than that because of the nice elegant dry down green spicy fresh dry down perfect for 25 years age and up Three hours, nice scent trail. Six hours, easy longevity, if not longer. Spray it on your clothes, you got 10 hours. Now, how does it compare to this? Well, both were made in 2014. Also, you know, Valentino Womo was made in 2014. Just to give you an idea of the years of these fragrances, I like to tell you that these both have lemon ginger opening. They both have like a vetiver cedar wood base. And when you smell them, Chanel Blue, and Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, you can totally smell the 50% of the same notes, and then you can smell that little bitterness, a little bit more of a zing on this one here. It's a little bit sharper, not as smooth as this. But for $35 versus $130, I mean, this is the way to go. I'd highly recommend this hidden gem called La Coste Loma Intense came out in 2018, exactly the same year as One Million Lucky, Terry Mugler's Alien Man, and Aqua Di Gio Absolute. They all came out in that same year. La Coste came out with one called Loam. This is called Loam Intense. And they both, if you were to compare the two, they both smell similar. This one has more of enhanced, you know, flavor and notes to it, including a note called Rhubarb, which is kind of like a celery stalk. It's got your ginger in it to give you that nice spice. And when you first spray it, you think it's going to be a light woody scent, but it actually has nice fruits in it and mandarins. And it's got this delicious vanilla dry down to it. So it opens up fresh and fruity and dries down to a mildly sweet fruity vanilla green scent. I don't think you should wear this formally. It's more of like a casual blue jean sweat shirt hoodie type fragrance. But it does garner lots of compliments. Lacoste makes fragrances that get compliments. The Longevity was a five hour fragrance. And I know a lot of you like stuff that lasts a little longer, but you know, it's not bad. Plus, the price wasn't bad for under $40. To compare it to the regular La Coste Loam, they just added some more green notes. It's called a Cipriol. It's like a note that makes it nutty and green to give you an idea. And they've added vetiver to this one, but all the rest of the notes are the same in this fragrance. Hugo Boss Bottled Intense Cologne came out in 2016. Same year as Valentino Womo Intense. Same year as Versace Dylan Blue. And for the ladies, Carolina Herrera, good girl, to give you an idea of the year this came out. They also do make Boss Bottled Eau de Toilette. And they also had a Boss Bottled from 1998. Now, if you know anything about this fragrance, right off the bat, the Eau de Parfum is like, they gave it a shot of enhanced notes and flavorings. And, and some of those flavors are green and red apples with vanilla. It's like a nice fruity, spicy vanilla fragrance. Delicious. You think about green notes, 
and red notes on top of a pistachio cinnamon vanilla. And that's what you get. It's so cool, it's so unique, crowd pleasing, and it lasts long. By far the best on this entire list of hidden gems. I would highly recommend you get this. Hugo Boss Bottled is sexy fragrance. You can use it for date night. It's so versatile. That's why it's in this particular video. You can wear it in any situation, dressed up, dressed down. And that's what I love when you have fragrances. Blindly, you can spray it without having to think, will I offend someone? Will this be good? Will my date like this? You have no worries, my friend, with this one. And the more you spray, the more it lasts. The girls I talk to say it's not too fruity and not too sweet it's just right and you got that eight hour longevity on this and the projection is is decent too and it just makes you feel good and so will this if you watch the next video right here and youtube wants you to watch this video peace and love